Okay, so what are we doing today? Well, this is a bit of an unusual video for me. I'm going to go for a drive. Now, normally that wouldn't be a big issue, but with all the travel restrictions and bans about this coronavirus or COVID-19 or whatever you want to call it, it's causing havoc with everything. And because I have MS and I'm taking immune suppressants for that, I've got to be careful about infections and whatnot. I'm not ill myself, but uh, one of the problems I do have is I'm still human and I need to eat. So uh, I'm going to uh, take my uh, little bit of uh, exemption and go out and get some basic supplies today. One of the problems with all this is uh, I get paid fortnightly. And so, of course, we normally do our fortnightly shop in one go and don't really do a whole lot of unnecessary stuff for the fortnight anyway. Um, so... <laughs> Normally this wouldn't be a break in routine, but the problem I'm forced into now with purchase limits is that I have to go out more frequently because I can't buy a fortnight's worth of stuff in one go. I've got to buy it one or two things at a time. And so I'm forced to go and increase my exposure. Um, even though there's only a handful of cases in this end of the world at the moment, it's still really something we don't want to mess with. And, you know, I don't really want a 20 grand fine. So, um... Yeah, we're going to go out, we're going to have a quick look, and I'm just going to video my experiences when I go out, because a few people are asking me, how is it down that end of the world? Well, at the moment, some of the panic buying is still going on, but so far, nobody seems to be really panicking too much, but people are taking sensible uh, controls and actions. So, um, let's uh, jump to uh, me entering the highway here, and um, we'll have a bit of a look around, and I apologise for the engine noise. Um, my vehicle's not quiet. So uh, anyway, let's uh, go and have a bit of a look around. So I'm heading out to, to get some vital supplies. Um, and this is a midday on a Friday. We're in a uh, rural town, or semi-rural town, whatever you call it, in Victoria. And uh, we're going to see how quiet things are. Now, lunchtime on a Friday, this is a main highway through town. Normally this is so packed you can't get through. And currently there's about, probably about 30% of the traffic that's normally here. We'll be heading up to the main street in a minute and we'll see what that looks like. Now this is uh, one of the busiest intersections in town, if not the busiest. Um, and this is very, very quiet uh, for a lunchtime on a Friday. Um, I've seen uh, one lady of uh, Asian appearance who's wearing a mask. Nobody else seems to be wearing masks. Um, seems to be quite a few people out and about. So uh, this is interesting. We'll, um, we'll go up past the uh, main street and see what's there. Alright, I'm going to head down the main street. And normally, um, this time of day, uh, this end of the world is uh, very busy and I'm down to minimum speed through here. Um, it's still looking reasonably busy. Uh, access to the supermarkets is up the other end of this street too. It's still reasonably quiet by normal standards, so... But I am seeing people like those two there standing more than their metre and a half away. That's good to see. Um, I'm going to have to wait here. It's certainly a lot more quiet than it normally is. We'll see what it's like near the supermarket when we get there. Well, as expected, the uh, supermarket car park's the busiest place in town. Um, still, very quiet for Friday afternoon. Normally you can't find a parking spot here it's to save your life, and it's actually it's actually a little bit before midday, it's not afternoon yet. So, we need toilet paper, which we're not going to get. And uh, we need a bag of sugar and a few other simple things. We also need some soap, but you know, I've got to make that because I can't find soap to save me life either. Alright, let's find ourselves a parking spot. Alright, so I found a park elsewhere. I did get into the supermarket and uh, we found a few things. There were uh, there was an epic stack of tissues not placed on the shelves. 
just in open boxes on the floor um, or boxes of tissues in open shipping boxes rather all the good sugar was gone um, there was caster sugar and some expensive brown sugar but you know that'll get us through that'll be plenty um, and there was a few other minor things that I needed bread didn't seem to be in short supply and it seems like people are buying up the good stuff rather than just anything they can get which says greed might be a factor but uh, I stopped by Bunnings briefly no isopropyl alcohol no caustic soda, no metho, no anything you could use to make soap or hand sanitizer. So I'm glad I got the caustic soda I did when I did, uh, because clearly other people have got the idea, probably because, you know, people are advertising it, like myself. Um, so yeah, I'm about to go and see if uh, the butchers are open and see if I can get my order from them. Alright, and uh, that's about lunchtime, we're a bit past now and I'm really hungry and nowhere that sells food is open, so I'm going to have to wait till I get home. Alright, so a few things were open. My Italian deli is open but they're not serving food, they're just showing, selling stuff off the shelf. And they're doing an excellent job of keeping the social distancing. They packed up all their tables, all their chairs, and they put tables in front of the counter to keep distance from that. Very, very excellent execution of that. Um, I did find uh, a cold drink, which is the closest thing to takeaway I think I'm going to get. I don't think Macca's is open. Um, my butchers, thankfully, were doing a great job, and they did a good job of the social distancing. Everybody seems to be behaving and following the rules really well. Um, either everybody's really terrified, or they're doing a wonderful job um, trying to advertise all this. I sort of lost my train of thought there. I'm very, very hungry at this time, point in time, and I've it's now one o'clock. I should have had my medication at like nine o'clock this morning. So I think I need to get home, have something to eat and uh, take my meds. This is the uh, main pedestrian area of town. Very few people walking around. Um, normally at one o'clock in the afternoon, this area is a chock-a-block packed. But there's just the fewest of people up here at the moment. Pedestrians have right of way up here, by the way. Um, we're about to go and see if the drive throughs are open. See if I can get my apprentice some uh, drive through Maccas. She's uh, absolutely nuts about a Happy Meal she missed out this week. She normally gets one at the uh, start of every week after school. But uh, she hasn't had one in a while. Well, there's emergency service workers and the drive through is packed. I'm not seeing many people in the restaurant itself. We'll find out. Let's drop in here. Good, yeah. cool. I'm just letting every this intersection is a bit tricky, so I try and let at least one person pass in front of me when I go through. Well, I don't see any of anybody at all in the restaurant, which is not surprising. Um, Okay, somebody's tooting me. Yeah, all right, I'm gonna wait for a bit. My order in, they're working pretty quick, I think because all the staff are dedicated to drive through at the moment. Um, contactless payment, didn't pick up the receipt. I didn't want to add any more points of contact for the staff. Let's see how quick our order is. Cool. Looks like the staff are wearing gloves. That went relatively well. Looks like they're fumigating the playground. Um, there's a big fan there, which you can hear. Um, that was very impressive. They all did contactless payment. They're all wearing gloves. They kept their distance from the window. I'm very impressed that everybody's behaving. I actually kind of thought that there'd be a bit of lawlessness out here, but from everything I'm seeing, most people are sticking to it. And I checked the, uh, the the list of new cases. There's a, a website. I'll stick that in the description. Um, that's Australian-centric uh, COVID-19 tracking website. Um, for the first time since it started, there was a buck in the trend. So the, the new infection cases dropped off a little bit. Um, so that probably says these measures are doing what they're meant to do. Um, 
I like the drive-through idea that kind of enforces some social distancing. So yeah, I'm not. A lot of people are freaking out about this. I'm seeing that there's a lot of sensible stuff happening at the moment. Um, aside from a few people that are stripping out the supermarkets and some news agencies that are stripping up a bit of panic. And I guess that's a two-edged sword. I was pretty critical on a Facebook post um, from one of the local news agents and I've popped a bit of flack for that because it really did seem like they were trying hard to stir up panic. And if anybody can profit from a situation like this, news outlets can. So I'm not their biggest fan, I'll say that much. But I do see that sometimes you've got to incite a little bit of panic to get the message through to some groups of people. It doesn't really help because the, peeps, the groups of people that do take those things seriously, they, um, they tend to panic and do irrational things. But anyway, now I'm going to go and uh, have some lunch and hopefully my apprentice will be happy to see me. I'm back and we've got usually bar wrappers all over my desk where my apprentice has been here and I've got kids shows on the TV oh, all right at least I've got my Maccas I can take my medication and I can rest now but I hope this gives you uh, an interesting uh, look at what it's like at the moment um, I've just heard uh, while I was up there that the Prime Minister's called uh, another emergency meeting so I think the stage three lockdowns probably in the works very shortly so yeah luckily we've got our butchers run so we've got a nice big lot of uh, tallow or, or fat we can turn into tallow and make more soap um, so yeah I think we'll survive but uh, it's gonna be fun